What's going on YouTube? I'm here with a quick unboxing of a few packages that are in the mail today. If I'm not mistaken, this should be our AEM goodies. So I've got this uh, receipt over here from Quantum Fuel Systems well as a 25% um, off for my next fuel pump order if I decide to go with that. <clears throat> Warranty and exchange, other good stuff. Here's my AEM uh, product number 25300BK. Brand new sealed in box. So right here I have a few fittings along with an O-ring. AM stick. Uh, some disclaimer, as well as AM adjustable fuel pressure regulator part number. Or it goes through a different, few different part numbers. I guess this is the instructions on them. Not really as important. And to the product itself. <coughs> Got the very nice fuel pressure regulator. And this is the style that goes onto the rail directly. And you can opt out for either doing the stock return line using the, the slip over hose, as well as, I believe this is an adapter to run an AN line if I'm not mistaken. There's a few different ones in there. You have your vacuum port right here, your adjustment nut and stud up top, little red cover for where the fuel itself <clears throat> actually comes out of the rail. Oh ring right there. That's one of our AEM goodies that we received in the mail today. Going on to number two. Boost Projects, little logo. We've got the AEM 150, or zero to 150 PSI oil pressure gauge. I think this costs 200 shipped. Brand new inbox. These are quality gauges. I really like these. Got the AEM wideband, and I'll be doing the AEM boost pressure, so, or boost pressure, gauge probably as well soon. What I really like about this design is that it's a direct sensor that you just uh, plug into the back and it's a very small sensor in design. 150 BSI labeled right up front. This is a little bit of sleeving that comes with it I think. A little rubber band. Maybe this goes not exactly sure what this little rubber band is for, but I'm sure instructions will specify. <clears throat> Wiring harness for it. Back of the sensor, back of the gauge. This might be power and, and negative. I'm not sure I'm gonna go over the instructions later. Different gauge faces. Connectors to crimp. As well as the instructions. Another sticker, two AM stickers today. So yeah, we've got the uh, wiring harness right here to the sensor. Then, looks like there's a few options for 12 volt input to the sensor or the gauge. And then five volt output, you can probably wire that into your ECU. 
And I think I'll end up doing another video on the install of this. Here's the gauge itself. This is very easy to change the face. Just unscrew it. Glass comes off. You can change the color from the black face to the white face very easily. I like my black face gauges, so I'm just gonna leave that right there. Screws right back on. With the two studs in the back, you can use to hook up to most universal pods. And it also comes with two nuts on the back to secure. So a very nice product. Always a big thank you to AEM for supplying a great product. Be able to use these on all of our cars. It's uh, pretty much the most reliable when it comes to gauges as well as fuel management or fuel pressure regulators are really good. I like AEM, Aeromotive, uh, a lot of other brands, but I really suggest getting good components when it comes to fuel and monitoring your engine itself. Okay guys. Stay tuned for another install video. Hopefully in the next couple days I'll be putting this all into the motor and the motor should be going into the car very soon. So like always, stay tuned. Like the video if you enjoyed it or if you learned a little bit of the components that come into your gauge kits. And uh, stay tuned.